Good evening. We begin with breaking news this hour and the Queen has pulled out of attending next week's COP26 climate change summit in Glasgow. Uh, we've just had this statement from Buckingham Palace and it says this, following advice to rest, the Queen has been undertaking light duties at Windsor Castle. Her Majesty has regretfully decided that she will no longer travel to Glasgow to attend the evening reception of COP26 on Monday the 1st of November. The statement says Her Majesty is disappointed not to attend the reception but uh, will deliver an address to the assembled delegates via a recorded video message. ...will not be attending the climate conference COP26. She had been due to attend the evening reception on Monday. She will still deliver an address to the assembled delegates via a recorded video message. Well, Helena Wilkinson is in Windsor and Helena, the Queen has been advised, hasn't she, by her doctors uh, to rest as much as possible at Windsor Castle. Yes, that's right, Marianne. We had that uh, confirmation from Buckingham Palace in the last hour and a half or so, uh, confirming that Her Majesty will not, as you say, be attending the Climate Summit COP26. She had been due to travel and host an evening on Monday with delegates there. It would have been a huge event uh, and probably quite exhausting for the Queen, given that she has... Uh, spent or last Wednesday spent uh, a night in hospital and she has taken the advice uh, by doctors that have given her that advice that she needs to continue to rest. Uh, we had the statement uh, which said that the Queen, Her Majesty, had regretfully decided that she will no longer travel to Glasgow uh, to attend the evening reception on Monday. And I think that's crucial, that word, the Queen regretfully has decided, so made that decision. It, the event would have been something she would have absolutely wanted to attend. Her son, Prince Charles, is going. We know her grandson, Prince William, will be there. Uh, uh, but clearly, uh, the Queen is now following or continuing continuing to follow uh, doctor's advice uh, that she needs to carry on getting some rest. And as I say, she did spend a night in hospital in central London on Wednesday uh, for what were described as preliminary investigations. We didn't have any more information from the palace about exactly what uh, those tests con were concerned with. And uh, I suspect we wouldn't have got any more detail anyway, because of course, there's that tricky balance uh, in terms of the privacy of the Queen in terms of her medical details, but also 